Hi, this is Erling. And this is Judy. Welcome to Travel Trail Sail. We're trying something different this weekend. We're staying in a yurt. Hey Judy. Yes. We just stayed in a yurt for the first time. What'd you think of that? Yeah, it was kind of fun. Yeah, I mean, it's actually spacious inside. It's got a reasonably comfortable bed, a little firm, mm -hmm. but there's a couch and a chair and even a table inside. And electricity. There was one electric outlet that had a lamp inside and we could bring a fan, which was kind of nice. Yeah, it was very, very spacious. And under the bed is a trundle bed you could pull out. It's a queen size bed mm -hmm. and it's pretty comfortable. Yeah, a little and, firm. Uh, but... A little firm. But under the bed is a trundle bed, a twin size bed that you can pull out so a third person could sleep there. And mm. you could also add air mattresses. I mean, there's plenty of room in there. Absolutely. And, you know, the mattress comes, it's almost like a plastic mattress uh, pad on it. Uh, but we did bring a sheet and just because this was our first time we kept it simple and used sleeping bags mm -hmm. But it worked super easy and a really fun way to get out into a Virginia State Park Yeah, so it was it was a fun night and you know, we had the the window open and you can open um, Two of the sides of the yurt to get nice cross ventilation We brought a little fan and mm -hmm. that really helped too Absolutely. And, you know, not every yurt has electricity. Apparently some of them don't. Uh, the fans that we have, you can actually run on batteries. So that's a good idea as a backup is to be able to have lighting and a fan in case mm -hmm. it's uh, dark or warm. So just, you know, in terms of being prepared, but this one did have electricity. And so we were able to plug our fan in. You yeah. uh, can use the bathhouse. <laughs> There's no bathroom in a yurt, but the bathhouse was just down the way. And outside was a nice fire pit area and picnic area. So plenty of room to spread out inside and out. Yes, it has a huge deck that wraps around it. Um, and that's really nice. You know, you could sit out there in your camping chairs. Um, but I think this is a great way if you want to kind of test the waters with mm -hmm. camping and not invest a lot of money in, tent, in a tent and all the equipment that goes with it or a camper. This is a great way to just try it out and see if you like it. The other thing to bring along would be your food. You probably need a cooler with food. There's no refrigerator uh, and maybe some way if you're going to heat food, Coleman grill or something like that to be able to make your coffee in the morning. So staying in the yurt, I felt very safe in the yurt. Um, it does have a door with a touch lock pad on it and the code changes with each reservation. So I felt very secure. Yeah. Um, the envelope they left for us was sealed and it said, you know, if this seal is broken, please call this number, you know, make sure nobody got yeah. your code. So, so we got in, nice. got in a little bit late and the envelope was there with our touchpad uh, code. So we opened that up. Uh, our envelope was secure and we found our code and it was pretty easy to get in. Uh, so, uh, yeah, like Judy says, it, it's really nice system the way mm -hmm. that they have for uh, getting in and out of the yurt. And then they'll change that code for the next group of campers. Mm -hmm. So, really nice. I would highly recommend trying out a yurt. I would say it was quiet. Mm -hmm. It was a nice night for sleeping. And now we can get out and do some hiking. That's right. That's right. But very nice yurt. It was uh, really, you know, a fun experience trying it out. Okanichi State Park has a small but nice visitor center. There's an interpretive exhibit explaining the history of the area and the peoples who have lived here. And a gift shop where you can pick up a t-shirt, mug, or magnet. While it was a rainy day during our visit, we hiked the old plantation interpretive trail. We started at the terraced gardens where there's a few parking spots. Follow the red swatches and trail markers. The trail is less than a mile and has a few interesting things to see. Check out the ruins of the plantation house where the chimney is still standing.
On our hike, we found information about making ice. A small river or creek would be dammed, creating a shallow pool of water that would freeze. Ice was cut from that and stored to provide cooling for the rest of the year. Before we knew it, we were back at the terraced gardens. Okanichi State Park is located right on a lake, and it has campsites with beautiful water views. While some sites are heavily wooded, there are some nice waterfront sites. This campground would probably be best if you have a small to medium sized camper. And with a small camper, you could get a fantastic waterfront site. In addition to the campground, there are some nice cabins for rent. We ended our visit to Okanichi with a stop at nearby Bugs Island Brewery in Clarksville, Virginia. Cheers to a fun weekend at Okanichi State Park. Thanks for joining us as we stayed in a yurt in a Virginia State Park. Uh, Hope you enjoyed it, and we can't wait to see you again next time. Bye.